Yeah, so like I said, it's like a 1918. That's what it looks like to me, but I'll look, I'll see from the sticker. Definitely a Buick, straight six. 1917. You know. So. Uh, we have a straight six here. And apparently, is that the water pump or the fuel pump? That looks like the water pump there, I guess. Exposed, exposed mounted valves. I guess the oil comes up the center, goes through the shaft, and then goes down. That looks... Oh, yeah, then there's your oil canister right there, so... No valve cover, huh? Something else, huh? Yeah, so, uh... Be, this would be considered an L-shaped head. I mean, uh, so this rocker arm adjustment seems to be valve adjustment, sort of. Uh, it has bolts right here, so but that's just for the shaft. How do you determine the preload? Couldn't tell you. Oh, and also down here. So this must be it. You adjust your rocker. You know, your push rod height from down there. I don't know, there's, somebody's got a book on this car. Probably Jay Leno does. It's just this exposed coil wire, that can't be good when it's humid. Well, it's got to have a manual transmission, probably a two speed. Oh, this frame, this body's rotted. Look at that. That is porous. Is this car in a fire? No, it's old. It's just old. It's old, you know. This is a uh, 19. Yeah, so that's 106 years old. What do you expect? You know? Oh, so it's got a... It appears to be electric starter. You press the accelerator all the way to the floor. It engages the starter. It, was it in a fire? Why would she think it's been in the fire? I mean, you know, what do you think a 100-year-old car, car is supposed to look like, man? Yes. It does look like the Beverly Hillbillies car, except for, if you got to keep in mind, the car on the Beverly Hillbillies was not a Buick. The car on the Beverly Hillbillies was a 1904 Oldsmobile. And if you don't think I'm telling you, see, he's got white walls on this side, but the reverse mounted. Now, you can still get these tires from Goodyear and Firestone and Bridgestone and BF Goodrich. But the thing is, you have to order them because they don't stock them in the store. All right. It's got a wooden wooden roof here. That wood is rotted. It's been nailed several times. But what do you expect? It's a four-door with a jump seat here for your, uh, this would be for your nurse or your secretary. No, why would he restore it? You just... This is a survivor, you know, you bring it to the shows, and oh, he's got notes here, see? I mean, come on, you know? As long as it's running, people can see where it came from. Of course, don't let them boys at General Motors Historical Society see this. With that wooden wheel. Oh, and so what happens is you would shift the transmission with this, I think, engage high or low. I don't know. Somebody knows what that, what those, I gotta, so, anyway, but, yep. What happens to the old cab? I, I tell your cab story over and over. Is that your cab? Yeah. Oh, no, that was years ago. It's got Buick on the wheels, and these are wood spoke wheels. Oh, was this the talk of the town? That must be, like, what are we talking about, see what I mean? Uh, about an eight gallon tank, that's what it looks like, maybe eight, ten gallons. And this is a, I guess this is a car jack can come with, car jack and the wheel lugs. Most, right. 